Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are starting my no money spent team on Xbox. That's right, I'm putting aside the God Squad on PlayStation and I'm making my no money spent team on Xbox and we are gonna grind the market. We're gonna find some cheap budget players and we are gonna see what we can do on Xbox spending zero money. So guys, throughout the series, I'm gonna show you the cards that I would look to target, how to make some coins, and just overall best practices if you are not spending any money in the game. And honestly, I respect that. It's a way better way to go. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy this series. Make sure you give the video a like. It really helps me out. And if you enjoy the content, please subscribe. The most amount of NHL 22 content you'll find on the internet. All right, guys, let's get into episode one. All right, guys, so as you can see here, I've literally just opened up my starter pack and pretty much done the tip sets inside of NHL 22. So here is what we're left with. Cousins, Logan Couture, my boy, and Simone Gagne as my first line. We've got Alex Turcotte, Rudolph Balsers from my Sharks, Troy Terry, Corey Perry, Adam Brooks, Andrew Cogliano. We've got Jeff Skinner, Cal O'Reilly, and Nola Shari on defense. We've got the X-Factor, Adam Fox. I'm going to talk about him in a little bit. Oscar Kleffbaum, we packed in the tip sets, as well as TJ Brennan, Will Borgen, Mitch Rinke, and Dimitri Semkin. All right, and then in net, we've got Darcy Kemper, who's actually not a bad goaltender when you consider the state of goaltending right now. So we have got some things to do. However, we do have the pre-order packs to open, so we are going to open those. And we'll see what we end up with. Hopefully, we get a gigantic pull. But if not, I'm pretty confident we can work with this. All right, so here we go, guys. Here are the pre-order packs I have. We've got the players pack, two diamond packs, the X-Factor choice pack, which is going to be pretty huge for us. And then we've got the power-up and the HUD icons. We'll start with the HUD icons real quick because this one's very, very simple, in my opinion. It's literally, I mean, there's really only one option here. So we'll just skip through. It's Ray Ferraro. So EA made it a little too simple. Like, if you're, honestly, if you're trying to, you know, min-max your team or get the biggest advantage you can with your pre-order stuff there's only one option and it, it, like i said it's really not close so we are gonna go with ray ferraro and the reason being is that when he upgrades to his tier two he's got 89 speed and he has distributors so 91 speed 88 acceleration his shot is above 85 his hand stats are above 85 he's got a decent face-off rating and that doesn't matter all that much so we can play center i'm probably gonna play him on the wing but i don't know we'll have to wait and see uh, only five foot ten, but it doesn't matter. This card is going to upgrade throughout the year, and his speed will keep him relevant. So that is, uh, like I said, a very easy choice here in Ray Ferraro. All right, then let's go through the players' pack. We'll see what we can get here. Again, I'm not expecting any pulls on PlayStation. I really haven't had that money considering how much uh, how much I threw into my team. But we can do a lot with these silvers. And Josh Norris probably going to make the team here. We've got Logan Stanley. Yeah, again, these golds I can throw into and, and use them in sets. And Dave Riddick. All right, so that's not really going to do anything. Although Josh Norris, I think, might make the team. The Diamond Pack. Let's pull something. Let's get something big here. Uh, really help out the team early on. Alexander Wenberg, Philip Deneau, Mike Hoffman, and Jason Zucker. And it's actually kind of important because these players probably will make our team. It's probably going to be Jason Zucker because he's got 87 speed. Eight, speed, again, guys, is so important early on. It is going to be Jason Zucker for me. Uh, I think that he is probably the best pick here. As well as Philip Deneau because we do need centermen. Okay. All right, on to the next round. Let's see. We've got Ryan Murray, Charlie McAvoy. We need defensemen. Oh, okay, we got two. All right, so let's take a look at Charlie Murray or Charlie McAvoy. Uh, with 87 or 85 speed, that's going to be definitely one of our choices. Then we've got Ryan Murray. Does have... Mm, I would like two defensemen here. Um, we're going to go with Grizzly. We're going to go the two Boston Bruins defensemen. We'll throw them on the back end. Third round. Okay. All right. Josh Morrissey, another defenseman. Capo Caco, TJ Brody, and Radic Faxis. So we'll take a look at Josh Morrissey. Has shut down as his superstar ability. Honestly, that's probably going to be who we take. Uh, TJ Brody, we'll take a quick look at him. TJ Brody, but we're going to go Josh Morrissey because he has that shut. To, actually, we'll go both. We'll go TJ Brody and Josh Morrissey here. All right, Shea Weber, okay. Blake Coleman. We got Mackenzie Weger and Scott Lawton. Wow, a lot of defensemen here now. Oof. Okay, Shea Weber is quite slow, to be honest with you. Uh, so that's going to make it a little bit tougher. I'm not going to activate Thunderclap. And booming shot just isn't all that great. We've got Blake Coleman, Mackenzie Weger, and Scott Lawton. Wow, some rough choices here. I think we're going to go Coleman and Weger. It really doesn't matter in this section because I think only Coleman will make the squad. All right, last round of this pack, we've got Duncan Keith. We've got Victor Olofsson, Christian Dvorak, and 
All right, James Reimer. Wow. All right. So that's tough. The first diamond pack, not good. Uh, Victor Olsen's not bad. Duncan Keith. Oh, man, a lot of. The, I mean, we might have a whole new defensive core with this. I'm not going to take James Drummond. I think I'm going to go Keith here and Victor Olofsson. All right, so that will do it for our first Diamond Choice Pack. Again, I think a lot of these guys, almost all of them are going to make our squad. So we've got a nice little baseline here. We'll open up the next one, and maybe we'll get a big pull here. A big one would be sick because, like I said uh, early on, any of these lucky pulls are going to be huge. So Alex Kalorn is not it. Jake DeBrusque. Hannafin and Chris Tierney. Tierney has distributor. What's his speed? 86. That's not bad. Noah Hannafin, good size, has buzzing. Jake DeBrusque and Alex Kalorn. We're going to go with Tierney and Hannafin. Okay. All right, next round. We've got Scott Lawton, Paul Stastny, Jonathan Marchesso. Okay, all right. And Morgan Riley. Okay. That is going to play nicely. Yes, Morgan Riley will 100%. That's a big pull for us. And Jonathan. Oh, I hate Jonathan Marches, so uh, he's still the best one. Okay. All right, that's a huge pull. We might sell him. We'll take a look at what he's worth on the market. But Yanni Gord, Luke Coonan, Jeremy Swayman, and uh, Connor Garland. I love Connor Garland in real life. And I think that's for sure who we're going to take. Yes, we are going to go Yanni Gord and Connor Garland. All right, next round. This pack's been pretty juiced. Okay, Ekholm, Neil Pionk. Man, a base Panarin or something would be sweet. Nino Niederreiter has distributor. That's probably going to be the play. Yeah, well, one will be for sure, Niederreiter. What's Pionk got? 86 speed, Spinorama. We already have so many defensemen now, so I think we're going to go Benino and Niederreiter. Marino and Nito Ryder. Sorry, Sharks on the mind, Benino. Brandon Tanev. Okay, Saku Koivu from Superstar Origins. Josh Anderson and Chris Letang. Base Chris Letang will do nicely, I think. And then we've got Saku Koivu. I think we're going to take him regardless just because... Um, might be able to get a little bit more for him, and we'll go Letang. So those are, this pack has been nice for us. All right, all right, so we got Morgan Riley and Chris Letang. Now it's time for our X Factor Choice Pack. This one's pretty easy, in my opinion. Uh, again, if you've watched my videos, you've seen who I think you should take. I wish you could just... All right, we'll go through, and I'll just open up all of these. Honestly, guys, like I said, especially now what we've seen what, what Matthews looks like at the high end, Matthews, in my opinion, now that he still has his 91, I think is still definitely the best choice. And you guys, you have to remember that because he has his 91, the base Matthews, as he's already... Wow, okay. It's like he's... They know. It's like they know. All right. Um, you have to remember that his base, I believe, is 87. So he has got to get an 88 primetime or team of the week, an 89 team of the week primetime, a 90, a 91, and a 92. That is like probably two months down the road. Um, so that is just super far away. I it, it's it's just so worth it to get Matthews now because again it, it'll you can spend over time now before he needs his next tier upgrade. It's not like you're gonna have to go out and spend 300k and then have to go immediately do another hundred. So Barzal has been absolutely electric for me. Um, on my PlayStation team, in my opinion, he's one of the best right-handed wingers. When you get him up, 92 speed, you can't really mess with that. And he's not that expensive. So we are going to, and we have Adam Fox. So we're going to go Barzell and we're going to go Matthews. I still think that is by far the best options. So now we've got some, uh, we've got some juice there. That'll go into our lineup and we'll upgrade those guys a little bit. And then we've got the lastly, we've got the power up pack. So that will help getting Matthews up as, yeah, okay. And there we go. We're, we're laughing. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the team now, and we'll get everyone where they should be. All right, so here we are. We've got Barzell, Matthews X-Factor with Jason Zucker on the first line. Olofsson, we've got Ray Ferraro, Dylan Cousins. Then we've got Terry Co Couture, Nita Ryder, Jeff Skinner, Philip Deneau, and C Corey Perry. On the back end, we've got Adam Fox and Morgan Riley, Josh Morrissey and Chris Letang, and then John Marino and Oscar Clefbaum in net. We're still using Darcy Kemper. 
and we were able to get distributor activated. So that's pretty big. Now, the next thing that we need to do, we've got about 15,000 coins, is I want to make sure that we get Barzell and Matthews up high enough where they're actually usable um, because I do think it is important, and these guys will be on my team for quite some time. So we'll go ahead and purchase a couple tiers here for Matthew Barzell. Uh, again, with the ones that are worth it, I feel like there's only about four or about five or six, I think, that are worth it. Matthew Barzell is kind of on that edge um, from for after the starter packs, but because you get him for free in the starter pack, he's just so valuable because, I mean, look at this right now. We're in tier four, and he's got, you know, 89 speed already. He's only an 80 overall, and he doesn't cost a lot at all. I mean, like, this isn't only going to cost me another 2,500, and now he's touching 90. His shots have decent with his, in terms of his wrist shot and we'll keep light the lamp on. We're going to see if we can get that activated. We're going to wait to do the 5,000 coin one because I also need to make sure that we upgrade Matthews to where he's at least usable, and he's obviously much more expensive. So we'll go ahead and see if we can't get him up. I believe he gets distributor. Let's take a look. He does at tier four, so we'll see if we can get to tier four with him as that would be pretty important. That makes up for the lack of speed early on. This one's going to cost 6,500, but it does get him distributor so there we go we've got distributor activated on austin matthews he's got 86 speed the next range is going to cost 40k so this is where it gets kind of expensive and we're going to have to now we could use i think i will use my two collectibles i've got four of them and anything less than you know you know as long as they're above 20k value so right now we're going to give two power-up collectibles that will get that's 20k each right so we could go ahead and use the power of collectibles if austin matthews is worth it we have four for free so we're going to get Austin Matthews up a little bit higher. As again, he's going to be one of the most important players on the squad. And he does unlock Puck on a string. But I'm not really, I mean, I guess I could activate it now. But I, I, don't, I don't really think it's all that great. We could go one more. Um, hmm. Let's take a look here. All right. So, because, yeah, we're one, before, we're one before the Austin Matthews where we need his base card. So we'll take a look. All right. So. Do I want to do that one now? Yes, I'm actually okay with that. The power of collectibles. He is, like I said, Austin Matthews is worth it. So we'll go ahead and use the two collectibles there. And now he's all the way up to an 86. The next one will cost 100K or base Austin Matthews. So that is going to take some time uh, to go out and get. We need to make sure we have distributor on him there. He's got 88 speed now. And now the team is looking a lot better. Uh, the other thing I want to do is Ray Ferraro cost 15,000 or one collectible to go up one more. Uh, but we don't really need to just yet. Let's take a look at Adam Fox. He's at 82. Has Thief. What's his other synergies? Yeah, nothing really there. His next one is 20,000. I'm probably going to do it. I wouldn't recommend it, really. I don't think Adam Fox is all that great of a card. But because we did get him for free, and only 20,000 coins, that's probably not a bad option to go. So here is the squad. We've got 82 Barzal with Austin Matthews and Zucker. Olofsson, Ray Ferraro, Cousins. Terry, Couture, Niederreiter, and then Skinner, Dino, and Perry on the back end. We've got Fox and Riley, 82-84. Morrissey, Letang, Marino, and Klepbaum. And then, like I said, we've got Kemper and Net. All right, so I'm feeling pretty good now. What would be the next place that we want to, you know, we want to start? I think what we're going to do is we're just going to take a quick look at the auction house. There are a few cards that I want to target early on. And in this first episode, we're just going to build a team, which is fine. But I really want to take a look at, uh, first of all, um... Taylor Hall because he's just so like he's just so good like the the card value for Taylor Hall is absolutely wild and here we go let's see what he's going for on Xbox right now it's looking at about six seven thousand so that's gonna be probably our first buy because he'll be the he'll go into that first line left uh, a right winger spot and we'll see if we can get Thief activated on him as well and that's probably gonna be our first focus there Let's see if we have any untradables that we could use for sets, as that's probably our next thing that we should look to target. When it comes to, guys, when it comes to the sets and what you should do, silver upgrades, I, I honestly wouldn't mess around if you have tradable silvers, but if you have untradable silvers, go ahead and do them. There's really no point uh, in holding on to them. So uh, we've, got, we've got eight right here, and we'll go ahead and put those in. And there we go. So that's looking nice. We'll go like this and see if we can get a nice re-roll in and anything that we can pull. All right. All right, Billy Hanola and John Nyberg. Yeah, so nothing there. All right. That was kind of to be expected. We'll take a look at how many golds that we have that we can actually just sell because I think that's probably where we want to go. 
We'll take a look in the collection now and just see what we're working with going forward. Because we did get some packs in the pre-order set, but we haven't... We haven't got any squad battle packs or rivals packs or anything like that, and I probably won't qualify for Hut Champs this week on there, but that's uh, that's okay. So we've got 81 items. Let's see, golds, and we've got... Okay, we've got quite a few. Okay. I mean, we've, how many are tradable? We've got 33 tradable. So we're going to see if we can't put these up and probably just sell them. We're probably not going to get a lot, but we'll take a look and see if we can sell any of these. Again, the coins early on, guys, on a free-to-play team much more valuable than trying to put them into sets and things like that what you want to do is when you get your rewards if you take untradeable rewards which you should for rivals uh, and then your squad battles and hut champs packs and all of that uh, you want to take untradeable or as much you can because those sets then you can put you could use those cards for the sets for the events that come out but i don't know if we're going to get any event cards just because we're starting about a week in right so we'll see about that all right so i'm going to go ahead then and we're going to sell all of these on the market or just check real quick what the 80 to 82s are going for all right so i went ahead and put everyone up for 1200 it looks like that's what they're selling for right now so we'll wait for those to sell uh, and once they do, we'll take a look as one's already gone off there and we'll see if we can't acquire Taylor Hall. And then after that, I'm probably going to spend the first week playing some squad battles at least uh, a little bit to make sure uh, that I get some packs out of squad battles. I think the coins are pretty valuable too, especially early on. You don't have to grind it where you get, you know, top 100. But I mean, even getting into like pro where you'll actually acquire some decent packs. You don't have to play that many games, and you don't even really have to do it on um, on Superstar either. It's a great place to to start with your starter team. And before I get into ranked with everyone that's got like those stack teams, I think it's just a smarter way to go uh, to focus on squad battles early on at least. And, and again, then I can play at my own pace. I don't really have to worry about grinding against you know the hardcore players that are on. And then I'll probably do some hot rush as well because those are guaranteed rewards pretty much immediately. And that's where we're looking so far to start the team i'm pretty excited about it we'll see what we can do and again the next episode guys we're going to get into gameplay and we're going to get into some of the market things that i'm going to focus on and specifically how we're going to build the team up but guys if you do enjoy the video let me know in the comments section down below and if you did enjoy it please subscribe as well all right guys i will see you in the next episode of the no money spent team have a good one